from KNDR San Francisco. Hello there and welcome. My name is Sally Jesse Raphael. Nice to have you come and join us. You're listening to TalkNet. I hope you'll listen to TalkNet. It hasn't started yet. I mean, this is an hour, and that's what we do. An hour, give or take some commercial time there. Monday through Friday, this particular spot. So if you want us, uh, we don't take attendance. You can drop in whenever it's convenient for you. We talk about ourselves and what we've gotten ourselves into, <laughs> what we like to get ourselves out of in many cases, and personal problems. And um, anything, really. From something that's very important and very difficult for you to something that's very light or something that you just like to share. We're at 1-800-223-4141. I'm Sally Jesse Raphael. Welcome to Talk Now. If you're as busy as I am, but you want to keep up what's going on, Time Magazine belongs in your briefcase, under your arm, in your pocket. Time Magazine, the weekly news magazine that's both informative and entertaining, but more important, it keeps you up to date what's happening around your country, in your state, and around the world. You really can't afford to be without it. It is entertaining. I'll tell you, it can make a long airplane ride whiz past. And if you dial 1-800-621-2000 in order now, you'll receive 30 issues of time payable and three monthly installments of nine seventy nine. That's 50% off the cover price, 10% off the basic rate, and as a special thank you gift, all you do is order time and you receive time's phone file, a push-button telephone with a built-in flip file for all your phone numbers. Now, here's that number again. 1-800-621-2800. You can dazzle everyone with how much you know from time. 1-800-621-2800. Our telephone number is 1-800-223-4141. Hi, welcome to TalkNet. Hi, Sally. Um, I'm a little nervous on doing this. I have a nine-year-old son by a previous marriage who is getting curious about his natural father. My husband has adopted him about four years ago, and I really don't know what to tell him. I've told him about his father. I've been honest about that, but he's, he wants to see pictures or he wants to go visit him or talk to him, and I really don't know if I want him to do that or if I should. Well, tell me the story. Well, I was in a marriage several years ago that the best thing that I got out of it was my son in the divorce. And where is your, uh, does the biological father not have uh, visitation rights or anything? My ex-husband has not made any attempt or anything uh, for six years okay. to uh, contact him at all. Uh, last summer he did all of a sudden call out of the blue and uh, ask how he was, but that was it. Uh-huh. No, uh, he doesn't pay, didn't pay child support or doesn't or anything? No, matter of fact, uh, he, uh, to a lot of his girlfriends and stuff, he denied the boy was his. He oh. said I, he was living with me and the baby was someone else's or any other lie he could think of at the time. Okay, so not a very responsible person. No. Uh, what do you think is making your child want to see the bi Is he having trouble with his adopted father? I don't think so. I think it's more curiosity. He doesn't understand, like uh, he said to me the other day, well, other kids get to see their father, their natural fathers. Yeah, and then you have to say, well, your natural father, unfortunately, doesn't want to see you. I think you have to be pretty strong about that. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to say, look, there are daddies who, your daddy is the man that is your daddy now. That's your daddy. I've tried that. And, and that's, the, that's the, I would take the positive attitude toward that. I wouldn't try to hurt the child to let the child feel that there's anything wrong with him. But well, I, I've told him that his father did love him in his own way. That's right. And you're in his own way right. is that some people are careless. You've met people who are careless. Well, dad is kind of careless. I mean, that's the way I would explain it in a gentle, kind way. Well, I've tried to explain that... Um, but don't glorify the man. It no. sounds to me like you may have glorified him a bit so no, that the he, kid... No, he, he knows what type of man his father was. Oh, okay. And, you know, he has a few baby memories of him. Uh-huh. Basically all he had. But um, he, I've told him that his father now 
loves him very much, and that his, that was the reason he adopted him. He wanted him to be his son. That, then, then I think that's the way to go. Then yes. I think that you're doing it correctly. And, uh, you know, to the extent that you can answer the questions, answer them that way. Do you think I should show him a picture of his natural father? Not necessarily. It just brings it into line as a human being or something. I, I don't know. Do you have the pictures? I don't. My mother does. Well, so you them. really don't have them. So you're lucky. You can say I don't have them. Well, he knows his grandmother does. Well? I'm not in contact with his father. He does still talk with his natural grandmother every once in a while. Uh-huh. But... Well, then, look, if he wants to ask Grandma for the pictures, you know, my answer is to be as honest with the kid as possible. Mm -hmm. The good and the bad. And if his curiosity still keeps up? I don't know that it will. If, if his curiosity keeps up, keep telling him the absolute truth. Keep, okay. Don't lie to him, tell him the truth. Okay, I know a lot of times, usually it seems like his, it's when he's mad at me or at his Of dad. course, of course. <laughs> he's bringing this up. So. Of course, because he knows what buttons to hit. Yeah. But does. you have to be strong about that, knowing that the kid is manipulative, as all kids are, not yours any more than anyone else's, and that he's trying to hit buttons. That's the way to go. Okay. 